Hello again, Sauce. Today we have plenty of new figures. Check this out new Scorpius Rex, new Indominus Rex, and many other new figures hidden inside this box from Safari LTD and more. But first, let's take a look at this brand new Jurassic World Cam Cretaceous Extreme Damage Indominus Rex. Let's get this out of the box. Alright. Okay. I've actually cut the strings loose. So take a look at this guys, this is actually different from the extreme damage Tyrannosaurus Rex right over here because it also has sounds, okay? So check this out, um, there's two buttons I think, or only one, let's, let's see, there's a button right here. Wow, awesome. So it works a little bit like the grip and growl, I mean the destroy and devour Indominus Rex. And there's another button right over here that will actually change the body, okay? If you take a look at this, once you press this button, the internal part will change um, accordingly, which is very similar to the Extreme Damage Tyrannosaurus Rex. But this figure, it doesn't have any sound, so this is definitely an upgrade, which is so awesome. This would definitely go into our um, Indominus Rex shelf. And if you guys want to scan this in a Jurassic World Rex app, I'm not too sure whether it will actually give you a new Indominus Rex. You can do it right now, okay? All right, the Extreme Damage Indominus Rex. Oh my goodness, it looks pretty amazing. I'm gonna place it right over here. And next, let's take a look at this really awesome new Scorpius Rex. As you guys can see, there is like a green tint to it and it comes with a gyro spear. I'm not too sure whether the legs are actually tied onto the base. It probably is. But first, let's try to release this. You know, beautiful hybrid from the bottom of um, the box. All right, as you guys can see, we need to cut it loose as well or from the bottom of his feet. There you go, wow, let's take a look. I'm not too sure whether this Scorpio Rex actually has sounds. Um, no, it doesn't. Um, you can see, this is a Scorpio Rex with no sounds, no buttons. Um, it's slightly smaller than the, this one right here, so you guys can see. Uh, let's do a comparison. The black one is definitely slightly bigger. The green one is um, smaller, I mean, you can see. The tone of the color is not exactly um, very different, just a slight um, differences in the shading. This is like olive green, this is like a bit of bluish black, I would say. But this, Slash and Battle, Scorpius Rex is definitely better. Because it has sounds and it has action, so it's really, really nice. Alright, I'm not too sure whether the code or are actually the same, they probably, yeah, they're actually different. So, you can actually scan this in your Jurassic World Fax app as well. So, I'm gonna have two codes for you guys to scan. So, they will probably give you different Scorpius Rex in the Jurassic World Fax app. So, really nice. So, let's do a comparison when it comes to the face. Oh, slightly different as well. Okay, slightly different. Cause in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Netflix series, you can actually find two different Scorpius Rex in that series. Have you guys watched the series? Have you guys watched? Have you guys actually saw both these Scorpius Rex? Let me know down below. Next up, we actually have this XL Raptor from um, Imagine Next Jurassic World. Um, it's kind of cute. I would say that this figure is, oops. It looks kind of adorable. So if you take a look, it says Raptor XL, extra large. So you can see that's a beautiful illustration of this blue raptor breaking out from its cage or its enclosure. All right, so you can see, um, this is a blue raptor. You can see the nice sickle shaped claw right here. And um, the eyes are actually transparent. This portion right here is transparent, you can see through it. All right, beautiful little baby raptor. Looks pretty amazing. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys this new figure that we have just 
revealed on Monday or Wednesday, I, I think. The new Fierce Force Raptor. Yeah, as you can see, the body is able to twist and rotate in different directions. And of course, you guys will want to scan this in your Jurassic World Facts app to review some facts about this dinosaur. And some facts that I can give you right now is that this is actually much smaller than what you have seen in Jurassic World movie. Real Velociraptors are actually the size of a peacock, roughly around that, okay? All right, I'll put this right over here. Have you guys seen these new figures that were just released? Okay, so you can see, um, many new species were actually released. Seeds Mikorum, Paris Aurolophers, and I love this. This color combination looks pretty amazing. I think this is supposed to grow, uh, glow in the dark and a Tarbosaurus right over here, okay? There are more minifigures that were just released. Let me just quickly show you. A new Carnotaurus. This is actually Carnotaurus Toro. Um, a new paint scheme of a Pteranodon. And they also released a um, new Irritator and Brachiosaurus. The rest are basically the same, like the Baryonyx and stuff. Of course, you guys should have seen this before. All right, our um, Ankylosaurus Raw Attack Bumpy. Next up, I've actually purchased some brand new Safari LTD figures. I'm trying to expand my Safari LTD um, figures. And right over here, we have an Acrocanthosaurus right over here, okay? And the Acrocanthosaurus is actually known as the... Um, High spine lizard, so because it has this really high spine bone, of course, not as big as the um, as the Spinosaurus, Acrocanosaurus from Safari LTD. Let's remove this tag from it. So I've actually placed more Safari LTD figures inside this box to show you guys. So Acrocanosaurus, I'm not too sure whether this is actually bigger than um, the T Rex. Probably, I'm not too sure. I don't think so. You guys can let me know down below. All right. And recently, I've also added this brand new mini golden T-Rex to my collection. This is actually from Takara Tomi. I got this from a friend who, who, who sent me this, so I'm pretty happy with it. Looks really nice. Okay, um, all right. Let's move on. And let's take a look at this. Um, the, this is actually the Raw Attack Ceratosaurus. So you guys should have seen this before. I'm pretty sure that you guys should have seen this before. So you can actually push this uh, and notch and just draw on its own. Really, really awesome um, figure. Next up, shall we open a pack of this Dino Escape? I think we have already got the entire set, but you know, I purchased quite a lot and I don't mind opening a few more to show you guys. All right, we've actually got the green T-Rex. So this is also from this series as well. The green T-Rex looks pretty cool. Okay, check this out. And it comes with a little leaflet as well. So have a look at this. You can find the entire list of the different dinosaurs. All right, let's move on and take a look. I've also brought my Imagine Next Arm collection to show you guys as well. Next up, let's take a look at the other XL arm. Velociraptor, so you guys can see it looks. This is basically like um, there's no articulation on the, on the jaw, so this is a blue version and this is a green version. Yeah, I think these are really really safe for like little ones, so they will make like really good um, good gifts for little kids, but really really cute and adorable. Yep. Next up, um, this is an indoor raptor, which is really nice. So you can see there's a on and off button right here uh, and you can actually place some Imagine Next figures over here and this is Macy from the first Jurassic World movie you can just turn it around yeah really nice um, figure all right I have brought more figures to show you guys yes this is the Seats Miko room which is um where is our smaller version of the Seats Miko room I'm not too sure where is it right now. Oh, there it is. So you can do a comparison. So this is like the large versus the small version. 
Since me Chrome, hopefully they can come up with a new repaint. I'll be super super happy if they do that. If they do that. And this is the Indominus Rex from um, Imagine Next. So you can actually rotate the tail like this, and um, the body will just move along. Okay, pretty cool. All right. I'm not too sure what is the name of this particular model. Um, all right, guys. I've actually purchased a really, really nice figure that I always wanted to get. It is actually a woolly rhinoceros. Do you guys like prehistoric animals? I'm a huge fan of prehistoric animals. And if you guys do not know, I actually have another channel called The Dan Surprise Animals. You can actually go check it out. All right. So over there, I'll be uploading like animal videos and prehistoric animals will definitely be a video I will be making soon. So yes, there you go. A beautiful um, woolly rhinoceros. It looks pretty amazing. Check this out. So this is my first woolly rhinoceros figure. Yes, I do have some like 3D puzzle when it comes to a woolly rhin rhinoceros, but this is my first figure of a woolly rhinoceros. I'm very happy. This will go into um, the prehistoric shelf at the basement dino dungeon. And speaking of prehistoric animals, I've actually brought many to show you guys. Wow, if Mattel can come up with some prehistoric animals, I think that will be pretty amazing. This is actually a giant sloth. That's right. A um to show this is actually a 2004 giant sloth figure from Safari LTD. So it looks really nice. Okay. Oh yes, do you guys know that Mattel is actually will be releasing a um what do you call this? This particular dinosaur. I can't really pronounce it, so let's take a look at um, the name written right below. Alright, this is actually a Shringosaurus. Yes, Shringosaurus. I think it's more like a prehistoric animal. Really cool looking, and Mattel has actually produced, created, and designed a figure of this. I can't wait for it. Alright, next year it will be epic. There will be plenty of um, these figures. I mean, plenty of new figures. Shringosaurus, let's remove this tag and take a look. So it, it really reminds me of a modern day like Komodo dragon or a monitor lizard, but with horns, with two horns on top of his head. So yeah, it's a very, very interesting um, prehistoric animal, Shringosaurus, okay? So you guys, if you guys have any information about this particular dinosaur or, you know, prehistoric animal, do comment down below, all right? Next up, um, some of the new figures that were just released very recently by Mattel. Uh, one of them is this Zoni Ceratops, a beautiful Ceratops right over here. This figure, it's really, really well made. It's like much more solid and much heavier than uh, the previous um, Ceratops, like the Triceratops in um, Styracosaurus, really well made, can even rotate the entire neck, can move the head up and down. So this is a really, really nice self machine that um, we have to our collection right now. Yeah, really happy with it. All right, next up. Oh yes, we haven't unboxed this. How dare you, Dan? All right, let's try to get Kenji. Kenji um, is actually a character from um, and Cretaceous. All right. You know, initially I didn't really like Kenji cause he was like too proud and he's like always making fun and looking down on some other people. But you know, he turned out to be a really nice guy and really brave as well sometimes. Yeah, and he was really like a nice friend to like Darius and um, the other members. So very, very happy to have Kenji figure. I'll be placing this in um, my shelf, of course. And we have a gyro spear. Of course, we're gonna put uh, Kenji inside this gyro spear. We're gonna do the unboxing. Okay, let's not unbox this. It's kind of difficult to unbox it right now. All right, let's move on and take a look at other Mattel figures. So this is actually a um, Pachy Rhinosaurus. Hopefully they can come up with a repaint or maybe can come up with like level 40 dinosaurs. I think that would be really epic. If Mattel comes up with like you know, hybrids, wow, wow, we'll be super, super excited. All right, right over here, we have a Kakarodontosaurus. 
we only have like one or two Kakaru Dontosaurus, maybe like three right now. So this one from Safari LTD is definitely a um, worthy addition to our collection. Yeah, let's take a look at this. The name. Um, yeah, there you go. Kakaro Dontosaurus. And it's a really nice and simple figure to have. I like it. So we are definitely expanding our, you know, Safari LTD Carnivorous Dinosaurs collection. Kakaro Dontosaurus is actually known as the Shark Tooth Lizard. All right, in case that you guys do not know. All right, let's open up another pack. I want to get another Parasaurolophus. I think it is like one of the rarest figures that you can find in um, the set. Uh, we've got a Segosaurus, nice! Segosaurus, I don't have... This is actually a new version. So if you take a look at this, it is actually in a new paint scheme. This is like a um, grayish tone. The previous one were like brown and um, green and this is definitely a very nice paint scheme. Stegosaurus is known as the Roof Lizard. And of course, let's take a look at our Imagine Next um, collection. So this is an Allosaurus, which is a carnivorous dinosaur, a theropod, okay? And Allosaurus is known as a different lizard. And here we have the meat-eating bull, which is the Carnotaurus, Carnotaurus toro. You can see, um, you can actually recognize Carnotaurus toro by the scar on the right-hand side of his snout, of his face, okay? Nice. Let's move on. Um, some of the new figures that were released include um, this really beautiful turquoise colored Velociraptor. This is actually Delta, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, from um, Jurassic World. And we have a couple of new Gallimimers. Where's the other one? Um, I can't seem to find it. Oh, it's right over here. So this Gallimimers is actually a new addition to the collection. Um, it came along together with the Darius figure. So in case that you guys do not know, Gallimimers is actually known as a chicken mimic. I think, you know, the actual dinosaur, it actually looks like a chicken. A lot of dinosaurs actually do look like chickens. They have feathers and fat. And uh, one of the prehistoric animals that I really like is this Asinoetherium. Let's take a look at the name written right below. Arsinoetherium. That is a prehistoric animal which is like closely related to like elephants, not rhinoceros, I think elephants. So I was kind of surprised. But co please correct me if I'm wrong. All right. All right, let's move on. And um, of course, we have the Storm and Escape Tyrannosaurus Rex right over here. I wanted to show you guys, you know, the difference between the extreme damage in Dominus Rex and um, this one right here. So if, if you guys ask me which one do I like more, I am going to choose the extreme damage in Dominus Rex. Cause it has like the um, um, roaring action, like the um, destroy and devour in Dominus Rex and it, and it has this beautiful battle damage, extreme damage mechanism right over here, which you can just rotate it by pressing this button. So it's really cool. I, I love this a lot. All right. Some of the other new Velociraptors that were released in that four pack set include this, which is Echo. All right, this is a figure of Echo. Echo the um, Velociraptor. And um, this is Charlie. This is actually um, pretty much the same as the previous Charlies that were released. Another really interesting prehistoric animal, okay? This is actually known as a Andrew Suckers. Check this out guys, the name is written right below, Andrew Suckers. It looks like a wolf to me. It definitely looks very ferocious looking. A prehistoric elephant. This is an interesting and wow, <laughs> did you guys see that? Blue was like hanging onto um, the, this tusk of the elephant. So what is this elephant? This is not, this is not a woolly mammoth, okay? It's not a woolly mammoth. This is actually a amoebalodon, which is a type of um, a prehistoric animal. Yeah, a, pre a type of prehistoric elephant, which I think 
should be closely related to modern day um, elephants. Next up, let's open this, shall we? It looks like an emu, it looks like an ostrich. This is actually a city patty, which is like a prehistoric, you no know, bird like looking um, um, dinosaur. We do have a few which looks very, very um, similar to this. But let's take a look at this. Yes, a beautiful city patty. My first and only city patty, I think, if I'm not wrong. And it's from Safari LTE. I love the figures from Safari LTV. And uh, I love what they have done um, over here, which is to write the name written right below um, the dinosaur. Because there will be times where I forget um, the names of the dinosaurs. So having them written right below actually helps me a lot. Next up, we have a baby Ankylosaurus. Looks really amazing. And um, this one is not a Dimetrodon. This is actually a Edifosaurus, which looks a little bit like a Dimorphodon. And it does remind me of a modern day uh, lizard. But of course, the modern day lizard does not have a frill or a sail like this. Indoraptor, I want you guys to comment down below which is your most favorite hybrid? Is it the Indoraptor? Is it the Indominus Rex? Or is it the Scorpius Rex? Let me know down below. If you ask me, my most favorite hybrid is the Indominus Rex. What about you? Please let me know. A um, new Baryonyx that was released not too long ago, probably a couple of weeks ago, is the Raw Attack Baryonyx. It looks amazing and it comes with three notches of um, different actions. Yeah, really nice figure, of course. I think that you guys should have seen this before in my previous um, videos. Right over here, okay. You know, this looks like a wolf, right? It looks like a wolf, right? This is actually a um, prehistoric animal known as a Deodon. So check out the name written right below, Deodon. But, it is actually not related to wolves at all. In fact, it is a prehistoric pig. Yes, I'm not kidding you. That's right, a prehistoric pig known as a Deodon. We have plenty of, um, you know, figures right over here. And this is another Andrew Suckers, if I'm not wrong. Uh, let's see. We have a um, Charlie. And... Um, and imagine next to a Matrodon, which is also a prehistoric animal. So, we have plenty of prehistoric animals right over here. Is this a reindeer? No, this is not a reindeer. This is actually a prehistoric deer, which is known as a Megalosaurus. Yes, looks really beautiful. I really love, um, what do you call this? The horns? I, I know there's actually a term to describe the horns of a reindeer. Um, I'll get back to you. I can't, I can't remember. Alright, another prehistoric animal which looks so interesting. Yes, I think that you guys must be truly amazed by how the prehistoric animals actually look like. And right over here, we have a Megasaurops. Megasaurops, you can see. It looks like a rhino with like two blunt horns in front of his face so it, it looks kind of really, really interesting okay next up this one also looks super cool super cool looking um it looks like a giraffe but it is actually not i think it is like closely related to a horse if i'm not wrong paraceratherium paraceratherium all right a prehistoric animal next up do we have more dinosaurs? I know that you guys are actually more interested in dinosaurs. Giganotosaurus, the giant southern lizard. One of the classic figures from Safari LTD. And Giganotosaurus is actually one of the few theropods that can grow up to a larger size than a um, T-Rex. Yes, Giganotosaurus will be in Jurassic World Dominion, which is the new movie coming up next summer so stay tuned for that and i can't wait for mattel to produce a giganotosaurus 
action figures. I will be super, super excited, I tell you. Okay, another Deodon, if I'm not wrong. That's right, a prehistoric pig right over here. Um, Dimetrodon, which I think you should be more familiar with as compared to many of the prehistoric animals, okay? Also from Safari LTD, so I'm basically showing you guys my Safari LTD collection. So this looks like a horse, and this is actually known as a Moropus, which is another prehistoric animal. Next up, we have a beautiful Styracosaurus figure from Imagine Next. So you can see it it looks like you know one of the savage strike figures from Mattel. Um Amoebalodon, is it? Yes, this is Amoebalodon. This looks really cool. It has this really cool looking um teeth that can scrape tree bark off trees. Alright, really interesting, right? Another uh Megaserops right over here, which looks like a modern day rhinoceros. And in fact, I love rhinoceros. I really love rhinoceros. It is in fact one of my most favorite animals. What about you guys? Which is your most favorite animals? Ankylosaurus right over here. This is a very cool Ankylosaurus. Do we have our Macy figure? Um, there are just way too many figures. Oh, it's right over here. So let's place Macy onto this Ankylosaurus. You can basically use her to, um, you know, control the Ankylosaurus like this. Pretty amazing, right? All right, let's move on. We have a beautiful Spinosaurus from um, Natural History Museum. I mean, from Carnegie Collection. Yeah, Safari LTD. Really nice figure. I've actually showed this to you during our collection video and a feather t-rex yes so this could probably be how the t-rex looks like in the past because you know paleontologists which are the people you know like you know studying dinosaurs they actually found quinops quinops are actually like little holes in the bones that hold the feathers like um, together and stuff so they actually found quinops in the fossils of many dinosaurs so yes, that's, this is how the T-Rex could look like. Um, Dino Theorem, another prehistoric elephant. So we have plenty of um, um, prehistoric elephants right over here. And um, in the future, I'll be making a elephant video on dance surprise animals really soon. So this is blue. Okay. And not a really interesting prehistoric animal. And this is known as a Uinthatherium. Okay, Uinthatherium. Looks really weird. It has like you know this little horns. Okay, bear. I mean, it definitely looks like a modern day bear. Um, a figure from Peppo looks really nice. I like I like it a lot. And um, some prehistoric animals. Once again, a Ramphorhynchus, the Matrodon, a Mosasaurus. Yes, that's right. From Imagine Next, I've just shown you guys um, the Mosasaurus um, recently. Next week, I'll probably do a Indominus Rex versus T-Rex collection again because we have this new Indominus Rex. I think it would be nice to do a um, video. Um, woolly Mammoth. We still don't have the baby Woolly Mammoth. I'll be considering of, of getting it. I'll consider getting it on um, Baryonyx, a classic figure. Another Gano Theorem, I think. That's right, you have, can see two inwards pointing teeth and a um, micro raptor right over here, which is a prehistoric bird. Oh, this figure was purchased very recently as well. Um, the Splitosaurus, which is a type of Tyrannosaur. From Imagine Next. We have a baby T-Rex, um, Dracorex. This was just added to our collection very uh, recently. And um, this is a Mala, oh, Macrokinia, which is a prehistoric animal. You can see this nose. This nose is pretty cool looking. I guess it definitely should have some really 
interesting function. Maybe you can like, you know, suck in insects, take in insects, I'm not too sure. Dinochiris, right over here, a feathered um, dinosaur. Another Velociraptor right over here. Um, a baby Brachiosaurus from Imagine Next. This is a Dodecurus, which is a prehistoric um, animal. It reminds me a little bit of a pangolin with, um, and also mixed with um, um, a porcupine. And this tail with spikes definitely looks to be pretty deadly. Baby Ankylosaurus, which is bumpy. Yes, this one right here. It really looks like the figure that we have just purchased. So, am I still able to find it? Let's, let's see, let's try to locate that figure. I'm gonna do like a comparison with the CD Patty. Where's our CD Patty? Oh, I can't find it. Oh my goodness. But that is fine. Oh yes, it is right over here. So you can do a comparison. This is like Enzu, if I'm not wrong. Let's take a look. Yes, this is an known as Enzu and this is a city patty. I'm not too sure whether the size are actually in scale. If they are, then um, yeah, then it's, it's a nice comparison. The beautiful Spinosaurus, this is another new 2021 figure. An armored T-Rex from Safari LTD. Yes, it looks pretty cool. Like, you know, not too sure whether you guys heard of the Dino Riders. It's basically like a vintage cartoon series. And we have a saber-toothed cat right here. Awesome. Which is also known as the smaller dog. This one, um, you in Tethereum, right over here. And um, this figure is from Safari LTD. A couple of baby dinosaurs, baby blue. Baby spine lizard, which is the Spinosaurus. So Spinosaurus is known as the spine lizard because of this huge neural spine bones. Yes, it's actually known as the neural spine bone. You can also call it the sail. And we have a Quetzalcoatlus right over here, which is a prehistoric flying reptile. And just for your information, do you guys have you guys ever taken taken a, a um a flight? I mean, in a plane, and this is actually as big as a plane. It is that big, okay? So it can definitely eat you in like one bite. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, not too sure what this is. It could be an Andrew Sarkers or it could be a um, Deodon. Let's take a look. Oh yes, it is a Deodon, which is a um, prehistoric pig. Um, Ceratosaurus. Yes, one of my. Um, one of one of the really cool figures from Safari LTD, okay, a theropod. And our last few figures, we have a Velociraptor. We have a Utyranus right over here. It looks a little bit like a T-Rex, but you can see it has three fingers on each arm, which means that it is not a Tyrannosaur. A Tyrannosaur only has like two fingers on each arm. This one, I think it should be a Silophrysis. Really nice, beautiful figure. I think this was like released in like 2019 or oh, 2017. 2017 was the year where I did YouTube full time for a year. You know, Velociraptor right over here. So, yes, we have covered plenty of figures. And um, let's choose maybe like three of our most favorite figures in this video for, for myself. This has got to be one of my most favorite figures, okay? Definitely. All right. I'm gonna choose the new Scorpius Rex. The smaller version, green version of Scorpius Rex is one of my most favorite ones. I'm really happy. And in case that you guys don't know, I'm planning to do a repaint of um, the Scorpius Rex into like a lever 40 Scorpius Rex really soon. Um, the next figure, wow, this is tough. Really tough. Can I just pick the Storm and Escape T Rex? Yeah, I think so. So, I want you guys to comment down below like which other collection videos you want me to make. And um, yeah, hopefully, yeah. So, I'll see you guys on Monday for the next video. So, right now, I'm uploading three times a week. So, I'll see you guys on Monday for the next video. Goodbye.